Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa, coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here at Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa, where Disney magic meets the late 1800s upstate New York. Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa is a Disney Vacation Club resort at the Walt Disney World Resort overlooking the Lakefront District at Disney Springs. Inspired by historic Saratoga Springs, a late 1800s New York retreat famous for its spas and horse racing, the motto is health, history, horses. This charming Victorian style resort hotel is nestled between the rolling golf course greens and the shimmering Lake Buena Vista. The 65 acre resort has a total of 18 villa buildings providing 828 vacation homes plus an additional 60 treehouse villas. Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa is served by the Walt Disney World Bus and Watercraft Transportation. For bus service, there are five bus stops located throughout the resort, including an internal shuttle bus. Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa has the main entrance at the Carriage House. There's also vacation homes located in the Springs, the Grandstand, with the pathway to the Treehouse Villas, the Carousel, the Paddock, and Congress Park Vacation Homes. Here's the Disney Magical Express bus stop. Let's continue straight ahead up to the carriage house. Over to the right hand side is the Bell Services desk and here's a 19th century carriage. Off to the right hand side is guest registration inside the carriage house. Here we are at Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. Let's go through these double doors here. And here's the registration area. And here's the large vaulted ceiling with the oversized chandelier. If we head down this hallway here, it'll take us down the artist palette. Let's go there. Up ahead is the front desk, but over to the right hand side is the sitting area. So you can wait for your family and friends to check in. The artist palette. Would you look at the vaulted ceilings with its hanging chandeliers over the dining room here? Located next door to the artist's palette is the gift shop. Take a look at all the various merchandise items they have here. They even have exclusive resort specific merchandise. Let's take a look at this nice polo shirt here. Let's see how much it is. And it's $70. There's also this nice shirt here. Let's see how much this one is. And it's $34.99. And over to the right hand side is the artist palette. And here's the mobile order pickup area. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. The artist palette offers pizzas like a pepperoni thin crust pie, a cheese thin crust pie, and also sandwiches like a cheesesteak sandwich, an Italian sub sandwich, a turkey club wrap, and a hot ham and cheese sandwich. Up ahead is the Turf Club Bar and Grill. And here's a lounge area just around the corner from Artist Palette. The Turf Club Bar and Grill at the moment is temporarily unavailable. Now let's head out the exit area. High Rock Springs. Here's where the High Rock Springs begins. And here's where it becomes a waterfall. The artist palette's on the upper level. There's the High Rock Springs with the waterfall. And down below is the interactive water feature for the Junior Explorers. Down below is the High Rock Springs pool. Here's the entrance to the pool slide. Up these steps here is the water slide. Here's a bird's eye view of the pool again. And here's the top of the water slide. Just wait for the green light. Here's where the water slide meets the pool. 
There's another waterfall, and down here to the left is the spa. And here's the water slide for the junior explorers. On the other side of the pool is the On the Rocks pool bar. Let's go check that out. And here's a quick look at the pool side bar again. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. On the Rocks has a few featured cocktails, like a millionaire margarita and a mandarin dream. They also offer additional alcoholic beverages, like a sunshine margarita, a blueberry lemonade, and even a bourbon breeze. Here's the zero depth entry pool, and just off in the distance is the arcade. Let's go see that. And here's the win, place, or show arcade. At the moment, the arcade is temporarily unavailable, but I'm hoping it will reopen shortly. Located just outside the High Rock Springs pool area is the Horsing Around Rentals, where you can rent a Surrey bike. There's Community Hall, and just down the way is Guest Laundry. Straight ahead is the High Rock Springs pool area. Here's this nice fountain and courtyard just on the back side of Community Hall. Here's the back side of Community Hall. There's also Guest Laundry just down the way. On the back side of Community Hall, you could play a game of table tennis a game of cornhole, some foosball, or even a game of pool. There's even a fire pit for the cozy evenings. Down this pathway here is the sport court. Let's go see that. You could play a game of shuffleboard, shoot some hoops, or even play a game of tennis here at the sports courts. Also located on the property, is Disney's Lake Buena Vista Golf Course. Here's the entrance. The Turf Club Bar and Grill is located just up there. Just down below from the artist palette is Chippendale's Cafe. And here's the exterior dining area. Let's take a look at the menu items. Chippendale's Cafe offers an assortment of deli sandwiches and lunch. For example, a boar's head quarter pound all beef hot dog served with a pickle an ultimate grilled cheese served with a pickle, a boar's head turkey and Swiss sandwich served with a pickle. Located on the back side of Artist Palette is the water launch that takes you over to Disney Springs via the Sasa Gula River. It also goes over to Disney's Treehouse Villas. Let's head across the roadway and go look at the Springs vacation homes. There's even a running trail here at Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. There's the Springs bus stop. Here's a look at the Springs vacation homes. Check out this nice courtyard. There's an obelisk and at the base of it there's a Mickey. And here's the grandstands bus stop. Would you look at the grandstand pool area? And just across the pool is the backstretch bar. Let's take a look at the menu items. The backstretch pool bar offers an assortment of beers like Budweiser, Bud Light, Bud Light Lime, Coors Light, and Corona Extra. So relaxing. There's even an interactive water feature. Just outside the fence is a patio with some barbecues. Here's the grandstands vacation homes it's time to go check out the grandstands interior hallways. Let's go. And here's the entrance to this villa's building. Let's head over to the right hand side and catch an elevator up to the fourth floor. Let's hit the button to go up. And let's hit the fourth floor button. Here are the elevators that we just got off of. And here's the room door entry and the room number plaque. Up here on the fourth floor, this is what the view looks like, looking across the way at those grandstand villas. Let's take these steps down and head over to the pathway that takes us over to the treehouse villas. Turkey lurky do and turkey lurky that. Here's that pathway that leads us down to the treehouse villas. Here's Disney's Lake Buena Vista golf course. It's a classic country club course that winds through pastel villas, pine forests, palmettos, and sparkling lakes. Here's the wooden deck walkway that takes us over to the treehouse villas. 
the treehouse villas are elevated 10 feet above ground level so you can enjoy views of the Sasagula River and the pine forest in the background. There's the stairway that leads up to the front door. You even get your own barbecue. Down this pathway here is the boat transportation. Here's the Sasagula River water launch that takes you over to Disney Springs. Let's take a look at this calm and refreshing pool area. Look at the frogs. There's even a spa. This is Bus Stop South. There's also an additional one, Bus Stop North, on the other side of the property. Now let's head over to the carousel area. The carousel bus stop. We've arrived at the carousel. Look at this tranquil fountain. Here in the carousel area, there's this nice gazebo with patio tables and barbecues. Now that we've seen the carousel area, let's head over to the paddock. We're on the paddock site now. If we take this bridge across the water, it'll take us over to the springs. We're here at the paddock pool area, and across the way is the paddock grill. Let's take another look at the paddock grill with the rapid fill refillable drink mug and soda station off to the right hand side. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. The paddock grill offers entrees like a Saratoga burger, a Cobb salad, a spicy chicken sandwich, and fish tacos. Here's the zero depth entry, and just off in the distance is the water slide. There's where the water slide meets the pool, and just up above is the top of the water slide. There's even a spa here at the paddock pool area. Just up ahead are the paddock vacation homes. And here's the aquatic play area for the junior explorers. Now that we've seen the paddock's pool area, let's head over to Congress Park. And here's the Congress Park bus stop. We're here at Congress Park. Take a look at this beautiful courtyard and the vacation homes in the background. Here's this peaceful fountain and just behind it is the Congress Park pool area. Let's go take a closer look. Here's the refreshing pool area and that building in the background serves as the guest laundry and restrooms. Look at this frog. And there's the Congress Park vacation homes in the background. There is even a Whirlpool Spa for the grown-up explorers. You could also walk down this pathway here down to Disney Springs. Off in the distance is Disney Springs where you can go shopping and dining. There's one of the boat launches near Disney Springs. Now that we've seen Congress Park's amenities, let's head back to the carriage house. Now it's time to head back to the main entrance. Let's make a left here at the portico. We're back. Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.